Hey you guys and welcome back to Lipstick Week. I don't know what day it is of the week. I think this might be day five. Today I'm going to be doing a swatch and review on the Essence This Is Nude lipsticks. I saw these recently in Shoppers Drug Mart. I think these are fairly new. I actually don't know, but I know that I've never seen them in stores before, possibly just new to Canada. They come in this beautiful packaging and they just stood out to me so I wanted to test them out because I had actually never heard of these before. This video will follow all of my other swatch and reviews. I will start by swatching the lipsticks for you guys and then we will go into the review at the end. I think that's everything I want to say in this intro so thank you so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started. This first shade on my lips is in the shade Bold. This actually came broken so I had to kind of squish it back into the tube but it's such a beautiful nude shade. I actually really like the way it looks on me. It's not too light and it's not too pinky tone. It's just that perfect neutral nude. I just think it's one of the most beautiful nudes that I've actually ever tried. By the way, my lips are super chapped right now, like especially my bottom lips. They're all peeling and stuff. I don't remember what lipstick I wore to work today, but um, it dried out my lips a lot. So please ignore how dry and gross my lips look. This next shade is in the shade Legendary. It's similar to bold. It is also a nude. I mean all of these lipsticks are nudes because it's called the This Is Nude line, but this one's more of a cool toned brownie nude. I actually really really like it. It's a beautiful shade for the fall and the winter. I love cool toned nudes. I think I like them more than warm toned nudes. This one just works really well with my skin tone. I feel like I'm going to be reaching for this one a lot in the fall time. This next one is in the shade Real. I think this one might actually be my favorite from the four that I picked out. While it is a nude, it's more of a, I don't know, like rosy nude. It's definitely not your typical nude shade. I feel like this would be so beautiful on deeper skin tones. It's giving me Maybelline Touch of Spice vibes, which used to be my favorite lipstick shade from the drugstore. Just a wonderful color for the fall time. This is the one that I have been reaching for the most. Like I wear it to work and I don't know, I just, I really like it. This last one is called Crazy and it looks very similar to Real that I just swatched, but it's definitely more purple. I don't know if it's more obvious when I zoom up close, but it's definitely more purpley pinky than real real had more of that brownish undertone i feel like it's not a color that i would reach for that often it's just not a color that i wear to work very often i kind of stray away from purpley pink shades i think it's a great shade if you were interested in this type of neutral pink i guess you would call it like a neutral pink i think this one would work for you if you're looking for something like that okay so if you're at this portion of the video you are here for the review I popped bold back onto my lips by the way what do you guys think of these lashes they are the ardell faux mink lashes in the style 811 I don't know, I'm not used to seeing myself have this like intense wing liner cat eye. I usually go for more rounded eyes, but I don't know, what do you guys think? I actually really like these lipsticks. They feel really nice on my lips. They have a very creamy texture. Just glide on your lips with little effort. There's no tugging or pulling. They're not dry at all. They definitely have that emollient creamy consistency. They're also very pigmented and all the shades that I tried were not patchy or streaky or anything. They also feel comfortable throughout the day. I don't find that they dry out my lips. Even though they are creamy right now, like right after I've applied them, by midday, so like four hours after I've applied, they actually turn into more of a matte lipstick. So the shine kind of disappears. I did notice that about these. They don't feel drier. They just dry down so that they look more matte. Staying power is also really, really good. When I wear real to work, it's actually still on my lips by the end of the day, which is really cool because for creamy bullet form lipsticks, I don't find that they last very long, but these ones actually do last a decent amount of time. They will fade after you eat or drink, but the color is kind of still there. Packaging is beautiful. They are a little cheapy feeling. Like I mentioned, the shade Bold, when I actually got it, I ordered these online, the bullet had actually like popped right off and then it was all smushed on the top. They're just not the greatest packaging, even though they look nice, but they're also like $4 and you're gonna get 
bad packaging for $4. Really affordable, really good. They have such a nice variety of nudes. I really like these. I I think I've said that probably a hundred times in this video. It doesn't say how much these come with, like how many grams. They're actually very small. Like I feel like there's not a lot of product in here. When I first open them, I'm like, oh, these are very small. I never run through lipsticks, so I feel like I don't really care about that, but I feel like you are getting less product in these, but yeah. That is my review. I love them. I really like this nude on me. I feel like this is gonna be my favorite nude forever. I almost feel like it would work really well on my sister for her wedding. I feel like this would be a beautiful bride nude. But anyway, that sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you enjoy the rest of the week. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Twitter and Instagram. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you tomorrow.